So my jalapeno pepper plants didn't amount to much this year. They got way too much water. And uh, I don't think the drainage of the pot was like perfect, but I got a pretty good yield. This is just the last of them really that I picked here just a few minutes ago and I have some more in the house. I did leave on, you know, a couple little wee ones here and there, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna work with these and the ones I picked earlier. And here's some more that uh, I picked earlier that are bigger. Sorry, the dishwasher's running, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna wash them up again and chop them up. Say, right. don't forget to wear rubber gloves when processing these or you'll touch your face later and you'll be sorry. All the jalapenos sliced and put in all the jars. I've got 14 jars and I made the brine enough for one batch. I might have to add to it and do some math later, but for now, this is what we've got, and I'll show you the recipe in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to show you what I do with the uh, turmeric-based brine. Uh, usually I would put a, a pot lid under this as I transfer it over here. But uh, basically, you just have to uh, put it in here until you have the head space. I like to use the bottom of this white funnel sort of thing as a guide as to where to put the brine to. So, after you're done that, with a few of these ladlings of, uh, stuff, just make sure you don't go past that little area. Then I just take a paper towel Everybody has a different way of doing this. I just uh, dip it into this hot water and I wipe off the rim of the jar. Next I grab my magnet and I fish out one of these lids. This is really hard to do with an iPad but uh, I don't have a choice right now. The other one is charging the other camera. So, then I get one of the... Now, not everybody puts these in the hot water, but I like to. It doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, I just put it on, just like that. Not really finger tight, but, you know, basically like that. Not real tight tongs and put it in the water with the rest of them. Okay, I just got to find a space. There we go. So, there we go. Make sure they're all upright. I'm going to put the lid on and get that to continue to boil. Bring that to a boil for at least 15 minutes. So uh, hopefully that will work out for you the same. But don't take my word for it. The best thing to do is probably to go online or seek out the uh, information in uh, a canning book such as uh, Bernardin. Um, it's a really good canning book. Now, because I wasn't sure whether I had enough, I did double the recipe and I looked around and a nice person I know who grows cucumbers in the garden gave me a few so I'm gonna try an experiment 
the recipe I've used for the jalapenos are, is a tweak from a dill pickle recipe. So I'm using it to um, experiment by slicing these cucumbers for use for hamburgers later. So I guess you can hear the actual pot starting to rev up for uh, boiling. I give it a good 10 minutes of a hot water bath for any uh, processing I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I still have to do dishes, but uh, this is the what's left of the brine. Even though I used up whatever I could. Ooh, sorry about the steam. There's only three left here to have a hot water bath, including those pickles that I did. But uh, here's what they look like so far. They'll have to sit for 24 hours before they're moved. It's right on an outside wall. Okay, so there's all the the canning goods, the canned goods from today. There's the uh, 14 jars, I think it is, of jalapenos and one of dilled slices of cucumber for hot dogs or hamburgers or whatever. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, second part, kind of, of my canning series. I do have to thank Marion for the wonderful recipes that she provided me, which I have followed, but kind of tweaked a bit at times. I did really well last year with jalapeno peppers, and I've enjoyed them all year on my nachos, my hot dogs, my hamburgers. I love jalapenos. I love spicy food. <laughs> so, thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll talk <laughs>